Hello and welcome to this Pantera Minutes to Proficient video. Today's topic, the rebuild of a roller pump. For today's demo, we will be rebuilding a Pentair Hypro 7560XL roller pump at our lab located in New Brighton, Minnesota. We hope you enjoy this video. For this video we will start with a standard rotation roller pump completely disassembled. Please watch our teardown video to learn more about roller pump rotation or to view the teardown steps. The tools required to reassemble this pump include fixtures or PVC pipe to help press in the seals and bearings, an arbor press, a clean rag or paper towels, a torque wrench or ratchet, a half inch socket, and a coupler. The first step to reassembly is to install a new O-ring into the end cover. Push the O-ring into the groove and hold one side while stretching it into place. This technique will prevent it from twisting and rolling off. Now, turn the end cover over and install a new seal. Insert the seal with the open end facing down towards the casting. Use a fixture or piece of PVC pipe to press it down until it bottoms out. The seal should be pressed in far enough to ensure that it will not make contact with the bearing race. Now we can press in the bearing. The bearing can be installed in either direction. Now we can repeat the same steps for the pump body. Install the new seal with the open end facing towards the casting. Press this down until you feel it bottom out. Once the seal is set, you can press in the new bearing. Because this is a standard rotation pump, we will finish reassembly with the motor shaft facing out of the main body. Start by pressing the shaft into the end plate. Make sure you have a fixture underneath the bearing, so you don't press it out while installing the shaft. Insert the shaft through the shaft seal, and then press it into place. With the shaft installed, reinstall the key, making sure that it is all the way in. Next we can reinstall the rotor. Align the keyway, and slide the rotor over the shaft. Next, install the new rollers. The rollers can be inserted in either direction. Before reinstalling the pump body, it is a good practice to ensure that all the surfaces are very clean of any debris or dirt. You will notice that there is a weep hole on the bottom of the casting, and a weep hole on the end cover. Make sure the weep holes are aligned, and place the pump body over the shaft. With a fixture supporting the end plate bearing, use a second fixture to support the housing bearing. With both bearings properly supported, press the pump together. At this point, the pump should turn freely by hand. If it does not, disassemble and inspect for any dirt or debris that may have gotten in during reassembly. Now we are ready to put the bolts back into the end cover. When reinstalling the bolts into the end cover, it's important to tighten in a crisscross pattern to draw the end plate evenly to the pump body. Next, reinstall the bearing dust covers by hand. Finally, reinstall the coupler and check to make sure the pump turns freely. If it does not, unassemble the pump and check for any dirt or debris that may have entered the pump during reassembly. This completes the rebuild of the roller pump. Thank you for watching and have a great day.